he's been caught here in a, in a trap of his own devices where he has no idea how to lead his country through what is ostensibly a peaceful protest by people who have a legitimate cause. I don't necessarily agree with a lot of what they're saying, but I absolutely defend to the death their right to protest in the way that they've been doing. You know, when they say that when someone shows you who they are, that you should believe them, who could forget, of course, when Justin Trudeau had said that he admired China's basic dictatorship. This, of course, goes way back before he became prime minister. But that clip has been played around the world over and over and over again. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. I'm Adrian Batra, and Brian Lilly is with me. And, you know, I bring that up, Brian, because there was a time when Justin Trudeau, when he became prime minister, he was going to be the champion of the progressives. He did basically a world tour. He was on the cover of all the fancy magazines and all the progressive commentators out there are just looking at him as their, their beacon. But that has eroded and has waned and has just absolutely fallen apart, including the fact that not only did um, progressive commentators have they turned on Trudeau. Of course, conservative type commentators have long been uh, distrustful of, of Trudeau. What has happened to this guy? I think people have woken up to Trudeau's wokeness and that it's just an act. I mean, so we've got Piers Morgan, uh, Bill Maher recently, Russell Brand, who I, I know was recently outed as a far right commentator because he went on <laughs> Joe Rogan's podcast. But as Russell Brand would tell you, he's anything but he's He's, he's, he's an old fashioned socialist, Russell Brand, um, but you know, a smart guy who does uh, witty commentary and he can't stand Trudeau anymore. Uh, Douglas Murray writing in the Telegraph said that Trudeau might be the most useless leader in, in the free world at the moment uh, in a column that was criticizing both him and New Zealand prime minister, Jacinda Ahern. So, you know, Trudeau was able to fool people years ago with his, his flowing locks, his beautiful looks, his, his great hair, and, and his, his very nice words. But then they realized there's nothing behind any of it, Adrian. There's just nothing behind it. He's an empty vessel. Yeah, have a look at some of these things that some of these commentators had to say. He was talking about people who are not vaccinated, but they take up space. Mm. And oh. with that, we have to make a choice in terms of a leader as a country do we tolerate these people? It's like, tolerate them? Now you do sound like no, Hitler. No, By bringing emergency powers and having the police rounding them all up like it's some, you know, fascist state. This is what I'm talking about. This is a form of fascism going on. Maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to... Uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> There are very serious issues happening around the world. Unfortunately, Canada does not have a serious leader. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.